Natalie at Natalie's Hoya Haven. I got my puppy Jenny with me. Say hi, Jenny. <laughs> we are heading out. The hubby and I are heading out to Kalamazoo, Michigan. We're on our way to Holland, Michigan. Uh, kind of an overnight for our anniversary. And the reason why we're stopping by in Kalamazoo is because we are going to be picking up some Hoya. <laughs> and uh, I don't think I'll be able to film in there, but I will definitely show you what I end up with. This is my yearly anniversary trip where all I want are Hoya. I'm going to a place I've never been before. It's called Wanna See My Planties. I've got the Facebook right here if you want to take a look. And uh, I'll see you later on down the road. Thank you. Okay, just a quick little video. We are at our hotel in Holland, Michigan. We're going to be staying here a couple days. And I just wanted to show you, I went ahead and went to uh, that plant cellar. And I want to give you a little quick view of all that I got. So now what I'm going to do is when I do get home, I will make a video and I will talk about each plant that I purchased and I will tell you the price I paid for it and let you guys decide if it was a good deal or not. But I just counted and between cuttings and plants, I have 21 new Hoya. All right. Okay, Natalie back here at Natalie's Hoya Haven and this is the last part of my video. Uh, for my Hoya Hall 2024, uh, my anniversary gift was 21 new varieties of Hoya. Yay! I found a seller that lives in Kalamazoo, Michigan. We happen to be taking a trip to Holland, Michigan. Kalamazoo is right on the way. And so I set this up with her and um, we're back home now from our overnight stay. And I want to show you what I have. I will, full disclosure, I'll tell you the cost of each plant as well. I do realize out of the 21 plants, six of them were not labeled as far as price. And she told me the price and I agreed and then she was adding it up but she didn't actually write it on the tag. So um, total spent uh, for this Hoya haul was $370, of which I know for sure six, 15 of those plants came to 265. So the other six plants are, uh, like $115 for the other six. But they those ones, even though I agreed to them, I can't remember. I was like in La La Land while I was there. She has over 400 varieties of Hoya. Uh, I think I told you the place I was going to, but it's um, Want to See My Planties. That's what it's called. So she's on Facebook. If you want to get in touch with her, um, she does sales. She does private appointments. And uh, Let's just get started. I'll show you what I ended up with. Like, let's let's get into this. Okay, so I've got my little list here. So I can tell you what each one cost, except for those six that I don't remember. <laughs> but let's, here's the first one. Let's see. And I did send her my wish list. It was an old wish list. I hadn't updated it. Uh, she was able to give me three plants on my wish list, but there were several more I wanted that never even made it to the wish list. So I got some more that I had wanted. And then there were some that I had never heard of, but I liked them. She'd show me the mother plant. I'm like, throw that one in too. So my very first one, Boya. Serpents, and this was twenty five dollars. I it was potted up already. However, when I got home, I repotted it in this. And the reason being, here's the container it was in, 
and the roots were probably only about down to here. And if you know Hoya, that's not going to work. They're probably it's probably going to die. So what I did was I rerooted it in my own mix that I use specifically for Hoyas. And but that much for $25 of rooted plant is a steal in my opinion. So that was my wish list plant. That was number one, Hoya Serpents. Number two, let's see if I can find it. Okay, number two is Ko Kochang Island. This one was $10. And I don't really know too much about it other than the leaves are very, very thick. And I am going to be doing a lot of research on my plants too. That's probably what I'll be doing this afternoon is going through and seeing what the care tips are on these different plants. But this is number two, Ko Chang Island, and this was $10. So basically I seen the leaves, I seen the thickness, I seen the mother plant for 10 bucks. How could I not do that? All right, number three. Oh, this one's a pretty one. This one's a pretty one. This is Pubicalyx Pink Silver Ghost. And this is what happens with some sun stress. It turns very pink. Now, if I'd have just seen this on its own, and this was another $25 plant. If I had seen this one on its own, I, I probably wouldn't have gotten it. I have uh, Pubicalyx uh, Royal Hawaiian, and I also have um, Pubicalyx uh, regular version, but it's got a lot of splash. So I felt like I didn't really need another Pubicalyx, but she did show me the mother plant of this one, and it was amazing. It does not look like my other two plants. So I'm hoping with more leaves, I'll get more of this pink splash here but that's my number three plant and that is the pubicalyx pink silver ghost $25 for that one okay here is the most expensive one I purchased that day and it's not really like a, a starter plant or a cutting it's basically a full plant and it also is blooming Currently, does have a nice smell. I've got another one getting ready to bloom. And this is Hoya. <laughs> I hope I don't screw these up. Nawbenesis. N A W B E N E S I S. This plant was $30. Again, it's one I had not heard of. It does sun stress very nice, nicely. And I mean, you're talking nice thick leaves. It's blooming. It's a full plant. Could not not do it for 30 bucks. So especially ones that sun stress. So that's my number four plant, Hoya Nobenesis. Maybe. <laughs> okay. Let's see. That was number four. Okay. Number five. This one, I think I wanted this one. I, it wasn't on my list, but I think it was one that I had wanted before. This is Hoya Panchoy. And this was $15. Very thick. It reminds me a lot of my Kushkiliana green form. But the leaves, I think, are thicker. These are very thick. They feel like like little, they almost feel like a little M&M &M or something. <laughs> but that is my next plant that I got, and that is Hoya Panchoy, and that was $15. All right, here's another steal. This one was not on my list, but I'll take it in a heartbeat. So hang on. Okay. And this would be number six. 
she said it was lightly rooted i hadn't really tested it yet and i don't think i'm going to test it any more than that does anybody know what that is <laughs> well if you guessed hoya nova ghost you are correct and if you see that price there i got this for ten dollars lightly rooted that's okay i can make it grow so that was a special find right there that was my next one which was the hoya nova ghost all right next one this is Hoya Biakensis. And I paid $15 for this one. I almost didn't get it. And I'll tell you why. I have another Hoya that looks just like this. It starts with the letter B. And I kept thinking that I already have this plant. But guess what? No, I don't. And I'll show you what I got it mixed up with. I got it mixed up with the Hoya Breviolata. So as you can see, they do look similar. However, the leaf shape is a little different. These are more of a curved. And then these are a little bit more flat. They almost curve the other way. The bottom curves where with, what is it, Breviolata? They curve in the opposite direction, but I did not have it. So for $15, I got a Hoya Biakensis. Very sturdy vine. Looking forward to see how that looks. All right. <laughs> All right, I'm back. <laughs> the next one was on my actual wish list that I did send to her. And let me get it. This one is a Hoya AH074 Silver. Now, I, 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 at the regular going rate that these plants usually go for, I probably would not have gotten it with, I'm used to seeing a little bit more of the light color on it than this one. However, this, Hoya AH074 Silver was sold to me for $10. $10 for this. So how could I go wrong? It's got a long stem. It's got another leaf wanting to start. And there's also more possible leaves that are going to come out on that one. It's number eight. And that is my Hoya AH074. All right, what do we got next? And that was $10. <laughs> the next one I'm going to show you is one of the ones that I did not have the price written on it. This is Hoya VL09. So I mean, I, I, I probably spent, you know, anywhere from 10 to $20, probably, I'm guessing. Um, maybe 25 I don't know. This is a rare one. And again, this one I thought was very similar to another one I have, and I'll show you that one. Very similar to one of my favorites. This is my GPS 7240. Now, the leaves on this one are a little bit smaller. And when I feel them, these are a little bit more cup shaped. These are a little bit more firm. These are really thick. But this is VL09, my new plant. And this is one of my all time favorites, my Hoya GPS 7240. So, got that one. Don't have the price listed, but probably somewhere between $10 and $20, I'm guessing. I know for a fact that the $30 plant that I showed you, the Nobenesis, was the most expensive plant out of all of them. And some of these were cuttings. And some of the ones that were cuttings, I rooted up in the hotel room. 
uh, before we came home. So this was not, this was already rooted. I don't think I've, I have not showed you any of them that were just cuttings yet. These are all the rooted plants. So that was, I believe, number one, two. That was number nine. Number 10. And this one I had never heard of, never seen before, but I love it. And I love the mother plant that she showed me. This is Hoya Colina. And now with any of these plants too, I would expect them to get darker if kept out of the grow tent. These are all very, very light in color because they were all growing in a greenhouse. So, um, so I'm going to play around a little bit with them, see what they like best, but probably some will be in the grow tent, some will not. This Hoya Colina was $25. And this was one I was maybe not going to get that was kind of a little, I had a couple that were undecided because I wanted to see what my total was going to be before I threw some more in. But really for $25 for a Hoya I've never heard of, that is as pretty as this one. The, the mother plant was, again, beautiful. Got a little start going on in there. So for once a year, I can splurge. So this is my Hoya Kalina. I paid $25 for it. Okay. All right. And this would be number 11. And this is my Hoya La Vida. This is, this is also a pretty big one. You could probably almost just call this a plant, not a cutting or a, a, a rooted cutting. So and it looks like I'm probably going to have to take this. As, this is a dead stem. I'll take that off. But again, she showed me the mother plant. Mother plant was beautiful. The sun stress is very nice on these. They're, the leaves are a little bit thick, but not too terribly thick. But Here's what I liked the best is the price. $10 for Hoya Flav Flav Flavida. I don't know if it's Flavida or Flavida. I'm going to say Flavida because I think that sounds better. All right, what do I got next? This one looked a little bit similar to my dinner plate Hoya. It also looks a little bit similar to. Is it my Calabra? No, it's not. It's, there's another one that this looks very similar to. However, the sun stressing pattern on it, on the mother plant, was different than... Um, what is that plant that I have? It's down... Oh, Suri Joensis. I'm probably butchering it. That's what this reminds me of as well. But the sun stressing looked a little bit different. This is Hoya... S P P N G S V 432. And I paid $20 for this. And this is probably equivalent to one of my smaller leaves on my Hoya dinner plate. I do have this long tendril that goes with it. I don't know if that's going to put out another leaf. This one, I think I'm going to have to, this came to me rooted in this teeny tiny cup. So I think I'm going to have to put it in a bigger cup because this is going to fall over a million times between <laughs> now and whenever I repot it. So yeah, leaf, leaf is about as big as the palm of my hand, but on her mother plant, the leaves got bigger than this even. So uh, what are we up to? Number 12, I think. Okay. That was SPPNGSV432. And that was $20. All right. So I'm up to, I think, number 12 or 13, somewhere around there. Um, and this one is one that was a combination of two different kinds. Hmm. This is Hoya, and again, this isn't a cutting. This is pretty much a full plant. This is Hoya fungi 
and Royal Hawaiian Purple. And this is what kind of leaf you get when you combine those two. I found that quite interesting. This was another one that I think I put as an undecided. I, I really did like it. Uh, I do have fungi. Eye. I do have Royal Hawaiian Purple. But I don't have a combination of the two. And I don't know how to do all that. I'm not that experienced. So at the end of the day, this one got thrown in as well. That's fungi eye and royal Hawaiian purple combination. All right. That one I'm going to have to put back in or it's going to fall over. Okay. Let's see what one, two, three. That was number 13. Number 14, this is one that I don't remember what the price was. I want to say I believe it was $10. This is Hoya Pandorata. And she did have several of these. It's very, it's a very thin leafed Hoya. Normally I'm not a not a big fan of the thinner leaf Hoyas. I feel like they can croak on you a lot quicker. But like I said, I think I only paid $10 for this. And for $10, it is pretty. I'd like to see what it does. I'd like to see what the flowers are on a lot of these. Got a lot of research ahead of me. So, but I couldn't go any longer and not show you guys what I got. <laughs> All right, next one. This one's a big one. This one I'm a little worried about. I did, huh, I'll show you. So this one is Hoya Diversifolia Splash. Now she caught me a really long piece and I potted it up in the hotel room. However, I'm a, I'm a little nervous about it. The, the leaves are really getting flimsy. Did I pay for this? Oh, I also don't have the it written down what I paid for this one, but I'm guessing it was probably like $15. I don't know if I need to. So it's got a very thick stem. I did cut it the night before and pot it up in the morning. So it did harden off overnight, but I'm real, when it's a thick stem, I'm really nervous about um, stem rot. So I may end up taking this back out again. I'm not really thrilled with the potting mix that I got. And I think I need to uh, probably pot it back up in a different type of soil and, um, and not this type of a cup either. So I think I'm probably going to do that when I uh, am done with this video. I don't want to lose these two. The other ones I could, I could lose, but not these two. And then I do have some starter leaves here. I was really hoping they wouldn't fall off, but we'll see. All right. That was number 15, Diversifolia Splash. Okay, number 16. This is another good one. This was sold to me as a cutting, so I did root it up. And I'm hoping, well, nothing going on yet. But this I'd never seen before. Had to have it when I did see it, though. So this is number 16, and this is Wilbur Silver. So if you can get a good look at that. I do have a Wilbur Graves. It's not super variegated, um, but I do have one. It's kind of making a little comeback right now. It was on the struggle bus for a minute. I did pay $25 for this, but... Judging by the purplish lime green leaves it has, I think I did pretty good. These are very thick as well, so I probably won't kill it. So that's number 16, Hoya Wilbur Silver. Number 17 was also cuttings. And, oh, they're already starting to root up. A little bit, and this was on my list as well. This is 
Hoya parviflora. You can't really see it real good. I kind of had to put the cuttings upside down because of the way it was growing. So I hope that I can still get this to, to take off. But the leaves are real dark. They're very cute leaves. They're, they're th kind of thick, not super thick, but kind of thick. Very dark and splashy. So that was my $5 plant, and that is Hoya parviflora. All right, number 18, wish list plant right here. And I'm going to screw up the name of it, I am sure. This is my Hoya vangviensis or giensis, something like it's going to be on the bottom. I'm going to say Vangvian Genesis, and if I screwed it up, I apologize. So this one, oh, this, I potted this up. This was a cutting, and it is rooted. Now, the only thing problem I had with this one is the cutting she gave me, I couldn't tell which side was up. So, so that I didn't do it the wrong way, I kind of planted it so that both ends were in the soil. And both leaves that were in the middle are sticking up. But this is rooting super quick. Don't know if you guys know much about this plant. I'll show you a picture here of what they look like as they get bigger. I love the dimpling. And I love the fact that they're just solid green. There's no splash. There's no variegation. There's no margin, dark you know, black margin, white margin, whatever. It's just solid green, super thick, super plump. This, I had two that were my very top wish list plants. This was one of them. And my other one was a Hoya pot of gold. I'm still looking for a pot of gold. As a matter of fact, somebody bought one out from under me before I got there. So darn. <laughs> But um, she didn't have any more that she was able to sell. But I did get this one. And I did get it for $10. <laughs> I've seen two leaf cuttings on Etsy for like 40 bucks. I've seen bigger plants for like 100 So the fact that I got this little baby for 10 bucks, totally thrilled. All right, what do I got next? This is one I did not know existed. This is number 19. She sold to me as a cutting. I did pot it up. This is also starting to, this is, this is already in there. It doesn't look real pretty at the moment, but I know it's going to get pretty. This is Hoya Variegated Affinity Bertoniae. And this she sold to me this as a cutting and I don't have the price on this one. I think it was five bucks, honestly. It wasn't more than 10, but it was probably five. So had to have that one. I do have the regular version now. One was sold to me as a Bilabata and the other one was sold to me as a, I don't know what it is. So they could be Affinitone, Affinity, Bertonier, they could be Bilabata. I'll know more whenever it does eventually flower. All right, number 20. Okay, something, oh yeah, okay, number 20 is, was sold to me as a cutting. I did pot this one up. Croniana black leaf. Have never had one before. She did cut it right off the plant. I wanna say I paid five bucks for it. So, and we've still got little leaves on there. They don't look like they've all fallen off yet. And it's starting to root. It is starting to root. How cool is that? All right. I am down to one plant left. And I don't know what I paid for it. <laughs> but I'll show it to you. This was also sold to me as cuttings. I did shop it up. I put it in this container. This one's not doing so bad. It's, it feels like it's rooting in. 
This is, and I'll show you a close up of the leaf. Here, I'll show you a good leaf. There we go. A little bit thick, not too much. And this is Hoya IML Micrantha 1870. So I've heard of Micrantha before. I haven't heard of all that other that goes with it, but. Um, and I don't have the price on it, but again, I, it wasn't much. She gave me a huge cutting of it. I've split it up into, I think, probably five or six pieces here. So anyhow, that is my 21 Hoya that I received for my 37th wedding anniversary. And if, if any of you guys are wondering what my husband got, he is getting a new radio for his boat. He's just got to do the research and order it. So instead of buying each other stuff we may or may not want, we just tell each other what we want. We go get it. So um, happy Hoya hunting. And I hope you guys all have a nice rest of your day. And I'll see you on the next video. Please like, share, subscribe. Thank you. Bye.